Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. The PF. <laughs> Modino wanting me to be arrested. Hmm? Why are you like this? Hmm? You are such a disappointment. Hmm? But PF, ah, you are really a disappointment, Modino PF. Now, you know, you know, I behave like a woman. In, a, in an abusive marriage, you know, bale kuma, bale kutuka, and you are just there. That's how I behave with you, PF. I am more loyal to you, PF. I am more loyal to you than you are to me. Hmm? PF, me, I have saved you. I have saved you more than you have saved me. I've saved you more than you have saved me. Him over PF him. Tamutasha. And you are selfish. As well as cruel. Mm. You are very bad people. A lot of you in PF. A lot of you. Not, all, not everyone. Not everyone. There are good people in PF. But a number of you. You are, you are selfish. You are cruel. You are unappreciative, a lot of you in PF. Apana muima. Hey, arrest him for espionage. Arrest him for espionage. Why is Tayad not arrested? Eh? Muniba chave chave. Ndroru imbola nikane emba uya. Abo, ba chave chave. Nimobo muweba chave chave. Nimobo mutashakali muitobo. If somebody is saving you, or if somebody is saving your interest, then it's okay. When he points out your mistake, you turn around and you want to do the worst. Hmm? You want to do the worst. You are in power. I saved you so many times, so many times. But when I criticized you, you were arresting me. Hmm? Arresting me, coming in this house, treating me like a like a criminal. Muliwa fake. Muliwa fake. Na paso muliwa adwa mu ikate. Hey, why is that not arrested? Why is that not arrested? You want me to be arrested? That's what you want. Arrested for what? Hmm? Arrested for what? You don't analyze issues. very nice. Hmm. Nah, I don't do it. I will talk. I will talk about this. Je ne parle pas de Tina. 
Bring an issue to me. I will handle it fairly and squarely. I will handle it. Hmm? I saw someone was posting. Ha! Ah, Tayari has become has become the, the praise singer for the UPND. Hmm? He has become he's there defending them, defending wrong things. He's defending wrong things. If I had a job from by UPND to defend them, the palapong shala him. Tinami poa. Tinami poa. Tinami poa bad. Tinami poa. Good tinami poa. Let me tell you this. I can finish you. I can finish you. Me, in the fact, papa did come down at the womb and I ain't getting shit to. I'm gotten. It is a job I've been assigned. Eh? Na kangwe kare ingira. No TV. Eh? Papa, I mean, there is nothing that is coming out of you, PND. There is nothing that is coming out of you, PND. And you should thank God. Because really, if uh, I am there to do propaganda, propaganda, mdara, na if you my politics up, ah, no, 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 among, you know, the political players, no, no, ah, I'm on the state, state payroll, state payroll, to defend issues. Eh? To defend issues. Ah. Timo Ashara kwa imu. Eh, muleko satari nchito. Whatever, whatever. You are defending all wrong things. I'm not defending any wrong things. I'm not defending any wrong things. And there is nothing between me and you, PND. There is nothing. I've not even gone to the other side. Somebody was asking me in the morning. One of my good friends. He was asking me in the morning. Have you joined UPND. I have not joined UPND. Me, I'm still remaining here as economic and equity part. I'm still remaining here. And don't even be cheated. No, that is getting money. What, what, what? Nothing. I'm not. Eh? So, I can message to one of my friends so that I'm not going to be able to get pressure. But, by the way, eh? Pressure bad, so they can look survive that you by UPN developing Takudi Takudi. I'm just giving you things as they are, but the problem you move by you by Bantuan Kanya, you move a PF, my demo propaganda, my quarter son of Wolf. You like lies too much, but we don't tend the kind don't don't provoke me, don't provoke me. Because when you provoke me, like the way you are doing, talking about these arrests, Muleire Terera, Muleire Terera, Muleire Terera, talking about these arrests, Muleire Terera, eh? Don't provoke me. Hey, Tari should be arrested. Hey, what, what, what? Hey, uh. hmm. How many times have I been arrested? Bushatafia hmm? Fula, the Kenai Nentu Sheko. Including to Sheko. Anyway, I'm not going to talk a lot. I will open phone calls. I want to take more of your questions and then I'll be responding. But I want just to clarify on this issue of arrest and then I'll talk about the minister's. Um, uh, Minister, actually, let me start with the issue of uh, uh, um, Cornelius Mwetwa, you know, because some of you already were saying, no, look, Jack Mimbu said this, hey, he's saying this. I mean, there is no contradiction. What did Radhi Mwetwa say, what, what uh, Cornelius Mwetwa said, and what Jack Mimbu said, there is no contradiction. Why, why is the contradiction? Why is the contradiction? You were tagging me, some of you, you know yourselves, you were tagging me relating to the statement that Cornelius Mwetwa, the Minister of Information, gave out and the information that was given by, by 
by by by home affairs minister Jack Mungu. Cornelia Shmueto has come out just clearly to say she was removed because she gave a document to the PF lawyers. That's that's he has just come out. But Jack Mwimbu, Jack Mwimbu is is a gentleman. Jack Mwimbu did not want to, you know, just uh, uh, put it that bare. He was being diplomatic. He was being careful in the way that he was talking. But those of us who are intelligent, we could read, we could tell what he was talking about. If you didn't get it yesterday that Jack Mwimbu was saying that uh, um, uh, 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 the the um, the registrar was moved because of a document that was released to the PF lawyers. If you didn't get it yesterday, I mean, then it is your problem. You can't blame Jack Mwimbo. You can't blame Jack Mwimbo. But Jack Mwimbo was very very clear. But Jack Mwimbo said, "Look, it is not only this. There are other issues as well." He, there are other issues. And he gave an example of by MMD. What happened to by MMD? By MMD, they also staged the, a fake, you know, convention. Now, Felix Mutati, na, na Nakachinda. Within 24 hours, a registrar of societies changed the, the office bearers. And Jack Mumbu gave an example of that. Then, this one, the issue of the document, he was very clear. The document... The document, since the matter is in court, you cannot just go and ask the registrar to give you information because the matter is in court. In such a situation, what the registrar was supposed to do is to write the attorney general to say, look, there is this inquiry. How should we handle it? And the attorney general would have guided. But she didn't ask for that. She gave the document. And going by government standard that was wrong i mean truth be told i and and i mean I, I know that woman i know that woman and i love her very much trust me but let us just be honest let's just be honest let us be honest the document you first of all you are saying no there was a there was a there was a a, a, a court order there was no court order there was a subpoena. Subpoena meaning take, bring these documents to court. And these documents were not taken to court. Instead, they were given to a PF lawyer. And surely, even if you have PF were in power, even if it is whichever government is in power, do you think that is acceptable? If, even if you don't like you, you, yes, you don't want UPND. Yes, UPND, they are, they are incompetent and everything. But in your view, is that correct? You, some an officer, a government officer, is asked to bring documents to court, and instead of giving the documents to court, you give them to the opponent lawyers. Do you think that is correct? And but Jack Mumbo said this, and Cornelius Mweta just went straight and said, "This is what she did." But but Jack Mumbo gave even more meat to say it's not only this; there are other issues as well. When the when the when the whatever asked to say why is it happening now when there is this document and he said it's a coincidence, he was basically just being diplomatic. He was basically just being diplomatic. There is nothing that you can say there is a contradiction between what the Home Affairs Minister and what the Information Minister say. There is no contradiction. What? How do you want to understand? Why don't you apply your reason? Why don't you want to apply your reason? Why are you always looking for faults when somebody is talking? You are looking for faults instead of understanding. Even when you are looking for faults, Cornelius Mwito was very straightforward. Jack Mimbo was very straightforward. I don't even understand why you are trying to find faults in them. What wrong did they do? They explained. They gave you information. But Mulefu Afiyen, Mulefu Afiyen, eh? And I also saw that Lars, no Lars. Has he hammered the government? I I I watched that a a, a briefing here. Um, um, what's his name again? Last last president. Uh, yeah. Anyway, the name is going. 
I, I watched it. But even him, he was very clear. He actually just said what Jack Mumbu said. What he, mm, la, at, Lungisan. What Lungisan said, he just said what Jack Mumbu said. There is no different what Lungisan said. There is no different with what Jack, with what Jack Mumbu said. But Jack Mumbu said, when you are asked to bring documents to court, when you are subpoenaed, you have to take those 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 documents to court so that you can be cross-examined on them or you can be asked questions on it, on them. That's what Jack Mumbu said. And this is what uh, 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 this president for, for Laz was saying. He said, I mean, the, the documents are supposed to be uh, you know, uh, uh, analyzed by the by the courts as to whether they are they are authentic or not authentic. That's basically what he was saying, and that's what Jack Mumbo was saying. Bring the courts. The, these documents are not supposed to be in the public domain. They were supposed to go to court so that in court they can be analyzed. People can be questioned. That is what Jack Mumbo said. So, and this is what also the last president is saying that. It is the court that is supposed to analyze and make a judgment. But now, the issue is, the issue is, these, these documents, these documents are not yet in court. The document that we are discussing, it, it was not a, a, a document from court. Because one would accuse Jack Mwimbu of being prejudicial if the document that we are discussing was coming from court. Somebody would be prejudicial, would accuse Rajak Mwindo, Rajak Mwimbu of prejudice or even contempt if the document was coming from court. But Jack Mwimbu, the document that he was discussing or the document that we are even talking about now, it's not coming from court. It's not coming from court. That document is not coming from court. So how can you say, no, uh, Jack Mwimbu cannot give an opinion until the judge gives a a, 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 a judgment. No. The document is in public domain. The document is on social media. It's on social media. And since it, was, it is on social media, all of us are free to give our opinion. And Jack Wimb was giving his opinion on that document. So there is nothing wrong or there is nothing like interfering. There is nothing. The document was already posted in social media on social media and it was not posted by government. It was not posted by Jack Mwimbu. It was posted by those people that were excited with that document. They are the ones that posted it on social media. And all of us, we started making comments on that document. So I find it strange that some people are trying to say, no, government, you know, is interfering with that document and whatever, whatever. No, the document is in the public domain. The document did not come from court. If it came from court, then Jack Mimbu goes and says that document is fake. Then we can say, uh uh, relax. That is not your area. It is for the court to say, not you. But in this instance, the document was flying around on social media. So all of us, we had the right, and we still have the right because we are discussing a document that is, in, that is on social media. We still have a right to question, to ask questions. I saw the document and I made my comments. Which comments you are very happy? He went to PF. You are very happy when I explained about the the issue of the two zero two zero two zero two, eh? That uh, that um, Edgar Lungu joined UPND in tw in in, in two zero two zero zero one, and he was appointed office bearer in two zero zero two, eh? And I explained that, and you are very happy with it. So the document, I mean, we were all free to discuss it because it is coming from social media. What is wrong with the issue of the registrar? It is the fact that instead of these documents being found in court, these documents found themselves on social media. And that is the government position to say that was wrong. And the truth be told, truth be told, that is also wrong. Truth be told, that is wrong. That is wrong. I am not saying uh, I, I'm the least and whatever, whatever. No, no, but bringing out that document, it was wrong. I agree with the Registrar of Societies by the fact that she didn't change 
the, the names. And the names should not change. We all know, surely under these circumstances, there is no way the registrar of societies can change the names. There is no way the registrar of societies can change the names until this case is disposed of in court. At the moment, the registrar of societies cannot change the names. But it is also not right that this document should be flying around on social media. It is as simple as that. It is as simple as that. The registrar of societies cannot change the names because the case is still in court. At the same time, it is not right that the document should be flying around on social media because the matter is in court. So that is my, that is my understanding. And I think it is pretty straightforward. And Vajak Mungu explained this very well. Cornelia Shmueto made it to precise to the point. This made us to move her. Because it's one of the wrong things. Vajak Mungu said there are even more other things. But this is one of the issues that made her move. Honestly, how can you start saying, hey, no, they are, they, they are contradicting themselves. Hey, they are making Tali's, Tali's job difficult. They have not employed me. They are not paying me by UPND. Yeah? They are not paying me. They have not employed me. Yeah. Uh, if you think what if they are irresistible. Mm. Ah, they are nice. Mm. It's my friend, Jeff. So, that is about that. There is another issue that came out of um, that press briefing of um, of Cornelia Smith, where he's talking about the 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 archbishops. I think uh, I want to commend the government for not taking a confrontational approach. That position that they have taken to engage the the, the bishops and other churches as well. I think it is very good. And from my point of view, I think if, if we are just objective, we will see that uh, this government, Haka in the has been trying to be open. Let us be let us be honest, eh? Let us be honest. I think this government, particularly President Haka in the I think he has been trying to be um to be engaging at least at least he has tried to be engaging i'll give you an example when there was that issue of lucifer and whatever whatever when there was that tiff or or there was that feud between you know uh Arch archbishop alec banda and the government and that uh, that that uh, priest from um uh, from chawama you remember serengeti what did government do? President Daka in the HDMA put up a small team of ministers and he sent them to go and start meeting the bishops. I think that that is engaging. I think that is engaging. I mean, unless you, 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 you just don't want to say good. Wasn't that good? Wasn't that good? They went. They started meeting Emma bishops. I think that is good. There was that issue of... Um, Osi, Osi, Osisa, Osisa, Osiska, whatever. You know, the senior citizens. Where um, Archbishop Mpundu is part of. There is Archbishop Mpundu, Brebna Changala. You know, the senior citizens. The senior citizens. You remember there was a time when Archbishop Mpundu wanted to release a letter and then they couldn't have that press conference and whatever. What did you see on? What followed? What followed, we saw those senior citizens going to state house to meet President Aka in the HDM. They went and met, met President Aka in the HDM. We have also seen President Aka in the HDM meeting traditional leaders. A number of traditional leaders have been going to state house. We have seen groups of traditional leaders going to state house. We have seen my paramount chief, Muinelu Wemba, going to community house. We have seen Mupezen going to community house. So, I think there is something that we can, we can, we can commend there. And this one, where a pastorate has come out, and instead of them doing church in public, which a lot of you wanted, 
Because that's what you wanted. You wanted to hear government start talking. Hey, whoa, whoa, no, whoa, no. Uh, uh. They have said, let us engage. And I think that is progressive. I think that is progressive. Where we have a problem is with us politicians. Where we have a problem, it's us politicians. I think if we take a good approach, if we take a, a right approach, I am very sure Haka Inde Ichinema would be open to engage the political leaders. I am very sure. The problem, Iri Po, is that we don't want to, to be humble. We don't want to be objective. We don't want to be reasonable. I'm not saying Haka Inde Ichinema is perfect. I'm not saying that. Hmm? I'm not saying the president Haka Inde Ichinema is perfect. He's not perfect. He has got his weaknesses. Now, but there is something that we can see, which we can commend. And I'm talking about interacting with stakeholders. We have seen that the president is open, wanting to engage stakeholders. And in my view, I am saying that even as politicians, we can do well to put our to put the political tempo down to put the political tempo down and find a way of engaging president haka in the hdm honestly how do you expect us to engage president haka in the hdm when we are busy shouting being abusive i mean how can he engage us i mean for goodness sake i mean the man is the president hello <laughs> He's a president. And uh, much as uh, you know, we want uh, him to respect us, we must be the first ones to respect him. And this is why today I was saying that my operative word is humility. I'm telling you, we can achieve a lot in humility. We can achieve a lot in humility. The problem that is there is that most of us, we want to show that uh, you know, we can talk. We can, we can abuse, we can, you, I mean, like that, it's very difficult. Eh? It's very difficult. It's very difficult, even at the level of a home. Eh? If at home, between you and your wife, you always want to show that you know, you always, one wants to show that, I know, I know, I know. I mean, it's very difficult. If you can't try to speak, you know, nicely to the other person, how are you going to engage? How are you going to find solutions to the problems that you are facing? So for me, I'm saying that I think in this country, the political temperature is high. The political temperature is high. Emotions are high. Can we put down the emotions? Can we put down the emotions so that we can listen to each other? This country will not develop if we are going to be shouting at each other, if we are going to be abusing one another. This country will not develop. We need to change the attitude. This attitude of trying to flex our muscles, this attitude of trying to show that we are more intelligent than others, we will not develop. There is a sign that this man who is in state house is tolerant to, you know, people who are coming to him. Why don't we put our political, the our political emotions down? And I'm not saying this at your Parium Peru Pian, nothing. This is just Umuntu Fiora Quatafia Mano. If you are just reasonable, you would agree with me that we cannot achieve anything by calling each other names. We can't develop. By trying to show that no, me I'm more important, me I know better, and whatever, we, we can't develop. But if we try to engage, at that level, I think we can we can move the country forward. We can move the country forward. For example, eh? you saw Wakambui. What he was talking about yesterday when he was responding to Jack to Bajak Mwimbu. What did Bajak Mwimbu say in that one for Wakambui to come out in the manner that he did? What did Wakam what did Bajak Mwimbu say? Eh? I mean, let's us be let's us be realistic here. Let's be honest with each other. 
Eh? Let's be objective. Let us be realistic. Eh? Because, I mean, we, we, we want to support wrong things. In an end, Narif Mam, we have support the wrong things. And I want to change my attitude. I want to have a, a different attitude in my, in my discourse, in my political discourse. Mm? I wanted to... Eh? I want to I want to, sh to show you because I know some of you have not watched I know some of you have not watched I want to show you what I'm talking about hmm? hey, listen is that the language mm. 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 And not only that, you have been in that parliament, this is your fifth year. I'll repeat, mm -hmm. Jack Mimbu, stop being silly. Imagine. You are an elderly person, you've got children, you've got grandchildren, you are a qualified lawyer, an advocate. Honestly, I mean, it, uh, Zambians, let's, let's just be real. Let's, let's, let's help our country. Let's help our country. We cannot be praising this kind of uh, engagement. What did Jack Mwimbu say for somebody to, to come up and say, you know, don't be silly. What did Jack Mwimbu say? What did Jack Mwimbu, even if you don't agree with him, even if you don't agree with him, is it right to start calling Jack Mwimbu, hey, ulimukuru sana, hey, walikuwa tawana, walikuwa tawe shikuru. Is it right? Stop being silly. Oh, come on, guys. Even me, I criticize. But you don't hear me uh, speak like that. You don't hear me speak like that. Imagine even myself here, I start telling Bakambuidi to say, you are very silly. Eh? Wakambuidi. Mwalikuwa tawana. Mwalikuwa tawe shikuru. Really? Is that the kind of politics that we want to do? Is that the politics that you, you, you want to cheer up to say, yes, this is the opposition. This person is fit to be a president. Speaking like that. No, come on. Let's be real, guys. Let's be real. So for me, what I'm saying is that we can criticize. But let us put our temples down. And at least from those in government, not some, there is that other man, that is nonsense. Eh? That PS of Wakukawe, who was saying, at, hey, whatever, whatever, I can't even repeat what he said. I can't even repeat what he said. That PS, eh? this PS, because I need to, I need to be, there is this PS, Ah, that PS, this one. Eh? If this is the picture of him, this one. Eh? That language. No, that is not right. That is not that is not right. But this is not the language that you are getting from Haka in the HLM. Haka in the HLM and government, especially what uh, Cornelius Mwetwa said, they want to engage. They want to engage. I think let us take that opportunity to engage the government. Let us take that opportunity. Let us put down our political uh, political egos. Let us put them down. Let us find a, a better way of engaging. I think it will be helpful. I think it will be helpful. Even these I am arrest, arrest three quarter. We can reduce on this. We can reduce on this. I am arrest three quarter. We can reduce on this. And I want to tell you that there is, it's not bias. It is not just bias that uh, I have not been picked for espionage. It's not just bias. No. It is my initiative. It is my initiative. It is my initiative. I, it is me who initiated this approach what i'm talking about here to say let's put our political our political political temperature down let's put our political temperature down 
It is me who started it. It is me who started it. I started it. It is not HH who called me to say, Tayari, uh uh. It is me who started it. I realized to say, no, but this is not the best way that I can do politics. I can do politics in a better way. And one of my first steps was to go to, 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 to Chief Mukun. Went and asked for apologies there. And I have also been talking to other people. I've also been talking to other people. The other day I was meeting a lady, one lady who I had spoken about, you know, some time back. I, I had spoken, I'm not going to mention her name because I, I still, I'm still engaging. So I'm not going to mention her name. But I had written about this lady some time back in relation to her marriage and I spoke about it and, you know, it came up and I, I'm talking to her. This is just a private citizen. Apart from that, even on this issue, I have been engaging. I have been engaging on this issue. Should I move up on this issue? I have been engaging. I have been engaging. And I have also been engaging Vaneva Smumba. I have been engaging Vaneva Smumba. Just that Vaneva Smumba is out of the country. But as soon as he comes, I want to meet him. I want to meet him. I want to him to meet him and offer my apologies. So I've been engaging. It's not that by UPND they have just uh, it's UPND. No, I've been engaging. I've been engaging. I've even gone to to to, 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 to police force headquarters. I've I have been engaging. I can't say how far and the other people, but I have been engaging. Engaging to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And these people, like I told you, these are human beings. These are human beings. They also listen. When you humble yourself, they listen. The problem that we have with some of you, us politicians, where even you have a clear case, but you find somebody is jumping around, jumping around, jumping around. And like I was saying yesterday, some of us, we think that when you are a politician, then you have an insurance for, for not being prosecuted. Because each time you are arrested, it is like you are being persecuted. But some of these, these cases are very real. Some of these cases are very real. It, they are not even political. They are not even connected to politics. Nothing. Nothing. Some of them have, have already started in court, so I can't mention them. But I've said it here. Even some of the cases that are around by Edgar Lung, it's not all of them that are political. It's not all of them that are political. There are cases that honestly, honestly, they would they are supposed to be engaging. There's cases that they're supposed to be engaging. Some of the cases. And even today, you're talking about hey, everyone has been arrested. Everyone has, not everyone has been arrested on espionage. Not everyone has been arrested. Not everyone has been arrested. For example, but given Lubin has not been arrested on espionage, he's part of that video. He's part of that video. But he has been released today on bond. He has not been charged of espionage. He was there. Nakachinda was arrested today. If the police wanted to arrest him, given him on espionage, they would have arrested him on espionage today. They would have arrested him. He was there. They have charged the, the, the Fred Membe. They have charged the uh, Nakachinda. Why didn't they charge him the, the given him? Eh? Because some of you, you, you are just talking, hey, but Tali, these others have been arrested. But given him has not been arrested in relation to the documentary. No. But given Lubinda has been arrested because of it is being alleged, being alleged that he has two passports, which passports he used, two passports, one diplomatic and one whatever, two documents, two travel documents, two passports, which is, I mean, let's face it, where is the politics there? Where is the politics? Eh? Where is the politics having two passports? Where is the politics? Where is the politics? Where is the documentary? I mean, let's just be real. Come on, guys. Let's be real. Let's just be real. Let's speak the truth as it is. Where is the politics 
a person having two passports, where is the politics? Where is the fact of no, no, I'm PF vice president, I'm whatever, whatever. Where is the politics there? Where is the politics? I'm bringing out this because you are the people that have brought me this. You are the ones who have made me to talk about it. You are busy shouting, hey, what, what, what? I've seen from Lelemba. That's why I'm talking about it. I want to show you. Where is the politics there? Yeah? No, daddy, I've left, been left, whatever, whatever. Hey, they're dumb, this, this UPND. They're dumb. Hey, they have left out daddy. Whatever, 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 whatever. But given Rubin has not been charged. He has been charged for allegedly, I'm, I'm insisting, allegedly having two passports. That's what they're alleging, that he has two passports. A diplomatic passport, not surrendering one, at not surrendering a diplomatic passport, because he had a diplomatic passport, he was a, he was a, a minister, he was a government official, and whatever, whatever. But when he ceased being a whatever, you're supposed to hand, to hand over the, the diplomatic passport. And the other case is that he has two, uh, two passports. That is, that is the other document, that is the other, the other charge. So where is he, the espionage? Where is it? Be reasonable when you are talking about these things. Don't just inflame situations. Eh? Exaggerate situations. Tad has been left out. Tad has been left out. But given the wind has not been charged. Emmanuel Mwamba. Emmanuel Mwamba is part of those people who are in that video. He's part of those people who are in that video. He's part of those people who are in that video. We were, he is one of them. Emmanuel Mwamba is at home right now, and I'm sure he's talking right now. Because he had put a notice that he's going to be talking. I'm sure he's talking. He has not been arrested for espionage. Nakachinda is the one who has been arrested. They were arrested together, but Nakachinda has remained inside. Emmanuel Mamba has gone home. He has not been arrested. So why are you saying it's only Tayari? It's only Tayari. He has been favored. No. No. So Emmanuel Mamba is at home. But given Rubinda is at home. Emmanuel Mamba's case, what is Emmanuel Mamba's case? Emmanuel Mamba's case is relating to his statement to say, let's have a, a, a national shutdown. That is what he's, he has been arrested for. And he's on bond. Not espionage. Now, let's talk about that, that video itself. That video was, we were interviewed at different times. At different times from different places. And what we said, we didn't say the same thing. Each of us expressed ourselves according to whatever we whatever we thought we didn't say we didn't say the same thing we didn't say the same thing so imagine you are act, uh, 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 imagine you are found in this video and you act differently uh, you are, okay there is a, there is a, there is a, a video uh, there is a, even a, a movie for example a movie there are many actors and one of the actors, you know, one of the actors, uh, you know, undresses and uh, does whatever things, XX things. Can you claim that everybody uh, acted porn? There's a move, there are many actors, and one, in, in, in one of the scenes, one of them acts porn. Can you say, no, everyone should be arrested? No. We were interviewed at different places, different times, different. So we said, diff, what we said is different. Right now we are talking. In I'm talking here. And other people are talking. Other people are talking. 20 hours number. Yeah, you suka to so many people to talk. If somebody gets those videos and puts them together into one video, and one of them or two of them or three of them in those in that video which has been compiled, they say something that is uh, whatever, incriminating. Can you say no, no? All of them must be must be arrested. Does that make sense to you? Just because I was in the video, 
then it means that, I mean, I should also be arrested. Follow what I said. The police are analyzing what was said. That's what they're analyzing. They're analyzing each of us individually. What did this one say? What did this one say? What did this one say? That's what they are looking at. We were not together singing a song. Uh-uh. We were interviewed at different places, different times, and we spoke different things. So depending on what you said, that is what they are looking at. For me, my attack was on Baneva Mumba. You go back and watch. My contribution was on Baneva Mumba. I spoke about Baneva Mumba. And this is why I have been trying to reach out to Baneva Mumba to ask for his forgiveness. Because it's Baneva Mumba I spoke about. And I'm apologizing to Baneva Mumba. I am reaching out to Baneva Mumba because what I said was not good. Against Vanevas Mumba. I am reaching out to him. I am apologizing. If there is a complainant, it's Vanevas Mumba who should be complaining against me. And I'm reaching out to Vanevas Mumba. So, come on, let's be, think. Don't be lazy in thinking. Don't be quick. You know, to conclude. Hey, no, hey, this government, hey, this government, no. I have been reaching out to Aneva Sumumba, away from the government. Away from the government. I have been approaching Wakapogola, talking to Wakapogola on other issues. On other issues, even on this one, I've spoken to them, you know, to tender, to say, look, I'm sorry over this thing, what happened, blah, 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 blah. I've thought about it and I'm engaging. And they have told me, if you are engaging, that go ahead and engage. Go ahead and engage. We can't come in. So where is government there? Where is this coming in now? Hey, hey, government. Hey, because daddy, whatever, whatever. Relax. Go and watch the video. Go and watch the video. I am not saying what others said is incriminating. I'm not saying that. I am not saying that at all. I am not saying that. And I have so much respect for for my, for my, for my friend member. I have so much respect for a friend member. I can assure you that. I have so much respect. So I wouldn't want to do anything to, to incriminate him or to implicate him. I wouldn't want to do it. I wouldn't want to do it. I am just addressing this because it has come out, hey, hey, why have they arrested? They have left out Tayari. It is not just Tayari being arrested. It is, what is it that was said? Go and see. And or I've told you that me, I've, 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 uh, I've engaged uh, the person that uh, uh, I, I believe I, I, uh, I, I, I injured. So that is the situation about, the, about that vid. And then others, no, no, no. Tayari these days is supporting everything because he's scared of going to jail. What, 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 what? It is not about just being scared going to jail. It is just about changing the way I'm doing things. A politician being arrested creates mileage for you. People start talking about you. It is good for politics. See, being arrested is part of politics. And if you are strong, you can even use it as a political strategy to propel your name because... Some of us, our names, we will never be on ZNBC. They will only come when we are arrested. When we are arrested, then they will put our picture and they will talk about us. That is the only way people in the rural areas will hear about Shulfatayari. In uh, the popularity that I have, you say you don't have members, you don't have members, you don't have members, but I have great influence in this country. I am a household name, whether you like it or not. I'm a household name. How did that come about? It is because of some of these arrests that you have, that 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 they have been, uh, you know, bringing on me. By UPA, by PF, they were doing it. You you made my name. You made my name. Which name helped in me campaigning for UPND during 2021 general elections? You arrested me when I came out 
because the attention was on Chukufete Ayad. Immediately I came out, I started campaigning for UPND. I used what the, that political capital that PF gave me, I used it to campaign for UPND. By UPND, they have been arresting me here and there and whatever, 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 whatever. It is that which has given me the numbers that you have. My first page was brought down. Immediately, UPND came into power. This is a new page. But look how many people are following. I've used these arrests to grow this page, for example. To grow my influence. That's why people, when I deliver, I, 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 that is, is, is going live. You come to watch. How has that come? It is a strategy out of the carelessness of the UPND arresting me. They thought they were they are fixing me. But no, you built me. And this is now the message that I even want to give to my UPND. When you are arresting people, make sure that people understand why you are arresting them. By UPND, you are doing, you are making heroes. Who are, you are making people who are even nothing. You are, you are making people who are nothing politically. People who are not politically astute. You are making them by these arrests. When you arrest somebody, before you arrest somebody, I can tell you, make sure you do a good propaganda. A good propaganda, not just that statement. Akalanda, eh? police spokesperson. Alanda, 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 like this. That's it. People don't know. I'm sure even given Rubinda, the issue of given Rubinda, people didn't know. They have known now that I've explained. I'm sure people didn't even know why Emmanuel Mambo was arrested. I'm sure people don't, don't even know the first case which he, uh, on which he, uh, Nakachinda was arrested. Because Nakachinda has been arrested twice. The first statement is the one that was given to news diggers. Then this issue of espionage. You don't bring out issues. People don't know why people are being arrested. And because people don't know why they are being arrested, according to people, they just think that they are being victimized. Of course, I'm not saying that all the arrests that you, that, that you, 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 you bring on us are legitimate. No. Some of them, they are political. That is for sure. That is for sure. Some of them are political. Most of my cases that you have arrested me for, they are political. If not all, actually. Because I'm saying most, all of them, which case have you arrested me, which is not political? They are all political. Eh? Let people know why you are arresting people. You are creating people who, are, who don't have political clout, and you are making them to be political heavyweights. Because of your, your arrest, eh? make it clear. Let people understand why somebody is being arrested. Otherwise, you, you are creating, you know, uh, heroes. People who are not supposed to be really a uh, political heavyweights, you are making them by these useless arrests. Some of them, they are useless arrests, but some of them, they are genuine arrests. But those genuine arrests, let people know. Let people know that, oh, this is the situation. Eh? I mean, politics. Eh? Some of these people, they are corrupt. Just because you are, you, are, you, you are politicians and you want to claim victimization. And yet, some of you, because some of you, yes, you have stolen from the Zambian people. And you are hiding in politics. You are hiding. No, I'm a PF, whatever. Hey, we are former leaders. We are former leaders. But we are former leaders. But we know that you are Kabwalas. Allah. We are you, some of this in Turami Monatin Mova Kabwalala. Anson just that I mean, you know, I mean I have to be whatever, whatever. But otherwise, I can call some of you uh Mova Kabwalala. Some of you Mova Kabwalala. Mwaliva. Mwaliva. Don't hide in politics. Don't hide in politics. Allah. This is DJ Mutati exclusive.
all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go